Hello everyone. Today we will discuss another practical of class 12. The aim of the practical is to find the resistance of a given wire using meter bridge and hence determine the resistivity of the material. Okay. Uh, at first we have to understand the principle of the meter bridge. The meter bridge works on the principle of Wheatstone bridge. Okay. Let's see what is Wheatstone bridge. This is a Wheatstone bridge circuit where four resistances are there. P, Q, R, S. Four resistances are there. We are connecting a galvanometer here and we are connecting a battery here. We all know when current passes through the galvanometer, the galvanometer deflects. Okay. So now when the ratio of the resistance P by Q is equal to R by S, then the current passing through the galvanometer will be equal to zero. Okay. This is known as balanced Wiston bridge condition. Okay. The entire meter bridge will work on this principle. This is our meter bridge and this AB is the resistance wire of the meter bridge and the length of this wire AB is equal to 1 meter that is equal to 100 centimeter. The length of this wire AB is 1 meter that's why it is called a meter bridge. Okay and these are all thick copper strip. Thick copper strip. Okay and um, we will connect a resistance here and another resistance here. Okay, this will be our P, this will be our Q. In this meter bridge, or in this piston bridge circuit, we can see this between A, B, the junction is known as A and at this junction, the galvanometer is connected. So at this junction of P and Q, we will connect the galvanometer and the another end of the galvanometer is in the junction of C and D. So the another end of the galvanometer is here and this is the jockey. So what will uh, happen? This is our P and Q and this will be our Resistance R and resistance S. This is the length of the uh, wire of the meter bridge. Suppose this is L centimeter. Then the length of this will be 100 minus L centimeter. Okay. Here we can see also four resistances. Number one is P, this resistance. Number two is Q, this resistance. Number three is this resistance. Suppose the name of the point is C. So AC uh, length of the wire. This is the resistance R. And this CB wire. This is the resistance S. And between A and B junction, galvanometer is connected and the battery should be connected between P, R and R junction. The P and R junction is this or this. These two are same. So we can connect it, the positive end of the battery with this and the negative end of the battery is connected between Q and S. The junction between Q and S is this. So the negative end of the battery is connected here. This is our complete circuit. Okay. Now we know the uh, resistance of a wire, the formula of the resistance of a wire is rho L by A, where rho is the resistivity of the material, L is the length of the wire and A is the cross-sectional area of the wire. Okay, so the resistance of the wire AC is equal to rho L divided by A and the resistance of the wire CB is equal to rho 100 minus L divided by A, right? Now we are moving the uh, jockey and suppose we are getting that the C is the null point where the, what is null point? Where the uh, deflection of the galvanometer is zero. Then we can say that the point is a null point and the western bridge circuit or this meter bridge circuit is in balanced condition. And at this condition we can apply P by Q equals to R by S. Suppose C is that null point and now we can apply P by Q equals to R by S. So in balanced western bridge condition we can write P by Q equals to R by S. Here the value of the R is rho L by A and the S is rho 100 minus L by A, right? So we can write P by Q is equals to this rho rho will cancel out, A will cancel out. We will get L divided by 100 minus L. Suppose the resistance P is known to us. Suppose this is known to us and this is an unknown resistance, okay? So if the value of the P is known to us and we know the position of the, the, we know the, position of the null point, so we know the length L, so we know P, we know L, we know 100 minus L. From here we can calculate the value of the Q, the value of the unknown resistance. So this is the main working formula of our practical. Okay, I hope you can understand this. Now we will start our practical. Now see the apparatus at first. We need the meter bridge. This is our meter bridge and you can see the wire. This is the resistance wire and uh, the resistivity of the wire is high, quite high than the connecting wires. So this is known as the resistance wire. This is made of constant N. So uh, its resistivity is quite high and this connecting wire are copper wires, okay. Their resistivity is very low. So this is our 1 meter wire and these are the copper strip. 
I have already drawn this. Now you can see the instrument here. Okay. Why we are using thick strips here? Because uh, the thickness in the area of the uh, wear is inversely proportional with the resistance. As these are very thick, their resistance is very low. So we are using this thick copper strip here. Okay. This is our main apparatus. And with this, we need a galvanometer. This is our galvanometer. When current passes through the galvanometer, uh, this galvanometer shows deflection. Okay. And this is our key. This is our battery eliminator. And this is our resistance box. The, uh, we will apply our known resistance from this resistance box. And the unknown resistance Q will be this resistance wire. This resistance wire is our unknown resistance. And our known resistance is this. This is our apparatus. We need this. Now we will make the circuit. Now we will make the circuit. According to the circuit diagram, the positive end of the battery will be connected to the left end of the meter bridge. So we are connecting this. And the negative end of the battery will be connected to the key. And the other end of the key will be connected to the right end of the meter bridge. Now the another end of the key is connected with the right end of the meter bridge. We will connect the resistance P in this gap and we will connect the resistance Q in this gap. Between P and Q, we will connect the positive end of the galvanometer. We are connecting the positive end of the galvanometer with the junction P and Q. And this is the jockey and this jockey will be connected with the negative end of the galvanometer. This is our known resistance. This resistance box is our known resistance. We, uh, we will use it as P. And this P will be connected at this gap. And the unknown resistance Q, that is the resistance wire, will be connected at this junction as Q. Okay. circuit is complete the positive end of the battery is connected with the left end of the meter bridge and the negative end of the battery is connected with one end of the uh, key and another end of the key is connected with the right end of the meter bridge and the resistance p is connected at this junction and the resistance unknown resistance q is connected at this junction and the positive end of the galvanometer is connected in between p and q and the negative end of the galvanometer is connected with the jockey. Now our circuit is ready. Now we have to check whether the circuit is working properly or not. Now to check that whether the circuit is working properly or not, we have to uh, connect the jockey both sides and we have to see whether the galvanometer is deflected in both sides or not. I think you can see the deflection of the galvanometer from here. So I am giving you a close view where you can see the deflection of the galvanometer properly. Now you can see the galvanometer here is deflected in left side and here the galvanometer is deflected in the right side uh, when we are connecting the jockey here the galvanometer is deflected in the left side and when we are connecting the galvanometer here the galvanometer is deflected in the right side that means the circuit is absolutely okay now we can take readings this is our table we have to take out resistance from our resistance box and we have to measure the length of the uh, the length where we are getting the null point and then we have to calculate 100 minus L and from this formula we have to calculate the value of the unknown resistance that is the resistance of the resistance where so this is our table we have to take four reading at first we will take out the resistance 1 ohm then 2 ohm then 3 ohm then 4 ohm okay and corresponding null point will be experimentally we will get this in the first reading we have taken resistance 1 ohm from the resistance box okay and for this 1 ohm we will calculate the null point we are connecting the key here and we are uh, trying to get the null point. Here we can see the deflection is in the left direction and here the deflection in the right direction. So in between, null point will be there. And here we are getting the null point. See the deflection is 0. Okay. Now we have to measure the length where the null point is there. This is 40.2. 
at 40.2 the null point is there okay so for resistance r1 ohm the l is 40.2 thanks for one ohm resistance the length is 40.2 okay now we will take the resistance 2 ohm here we are taking the resistance 2 ohm and we will calculate the null point for this see in the galvanometer left deflection is there and right deflection is there so we have we will get deflection zero in between this so here we are getting zero deflection see we are getting zero deflection and we have to take the length from here this is 54.4 the length is 54.4 so 2 ohm resistance the length is 54.4 the third reading, we are taking 3 ohm resistance from the resistance box. Here 2 plus 1, 3 ohm resistance we have taken from the resistance box. Now we are trying to get the null point. We are getting left deflection here. Still left deflection. See, here we are getting 0 deflection. Okay. Now we have to take, uh, wait, here we are getting 0 deflection. Now we have to take the length. This is 62.5. And then we will take the resistance 4. Okay. We have taken resistance 3. This is 62.5. This is the length of the null point. Now we have taken 4 ohm resistance from the resistance box. And we are trying to get the null point. So here we are getting left deflection. Now deflection is decreasing. And this is zero deflection. Okay. And the length is 69.6. Okay. For 4 ohm resistance, this is 69.6. Now we have already taken the reading. We have to calculate these two columns. And then from there, we can calculate the unknown resistance X. That is the resistance of the resistance. Value. Now we have calculated the value of 100 minus L and the value of X using this formula. These are the value of the unknown resistance and we have taken the average of this this is our mean resistance of that resistance where we have calculated an unknown the value of the unknown resistance using wiston bridge principle okay now we have to calculate the resistivity our aim is to calculate the resistivity so this is the formula of the resistance and this is the formula of the resistivity rho is known as the resistivity so area means the cross sectional area that is pi r square r is equals to dam r is the radi uh, radius and the radius is equals to d divided by 2 d is the diameter so now the formula of the resistivity is this now we have got the value of the unknown resistance by using by get uh, using a meter scale we can get the length of the resistance well and now we have to calculate the diameter of the resistance well we have to use screw gauge to calculate the diameter of the resistance well this instrument is known as screw gauge this is the apparatus using this we have to measure the diameter of a well okay of that resistance well so at first see this carefully this is the linear scale of the screw gauge this is the linear scale of the screw gauge and this is the circular scale of the screw gauge okay in the linear scale you can see in the linear cell, in a linear scale, 0 and 5. And between 0 and 5, 5 small divisions are there. So, between 0 and 5, 5 small divisions are there. 1 small division is equals to 1 millimeter. Okay. You can see this. Next, this is 10 millimeter. Like this. Okay. One smallest division in the linear scale is equals to one millimeter. The line of the linear scale and the zero mark of the circular scale are coinciding with each other. Right? I hope you can see this. The line of the linear scale is coinciding with the zero mark of the circular scale. Right? Now I am rotating the circular scale. After one complete rotation... We can see the line 1 millimeter, right? For one complete rotation of the circular scale, the linear displacement of the circular scale is 1 millimeter. So, the pitch is 1 millimeter and the number of circular scale division in this screw gauge is 100. So, the least count is 1 millimeter divided by 100. This is the least count 0 0.01 millimeter. Now, we have to see whether error is there or not. When we are completely closing this, if the zero 
of the circular scale is above the line of the linear scale then this is known as negative zero error if it is this position the zero of the circular scale is below the line of the linear scale then this is positive zero error if the zero is exactly coinciding with the if the zero is exactly coinciding like this it is exactly coinciding with the linear scale line then it is zero error no error is there if the zero is above the linear scale line then it is negative zero error if the zero is below the linear scale line then it is positive zero error in our instrument let close the instrument here we will get one sound then we will understand it is completely closed i hope you are getting the sound again i am doing it is closed now you can see the zero mark is above the linear scale line so here negative zero error is there okay and how much error is there it is coinciding with here the linear scale line is coinciding with the six of the the six division of the circular scale line i'm trying to focus it so that you can understand see okay now we will calculate the error it is negative zero error and the value is 6 so this is negative zero error and the value is 6 6 into the list count so the error value is minus 0.06 mm here we are getting the minus sign as this is negative zero error we are putting this minus sign here now we have to calculate the diameter of our resistance wire here the this is our uh, resistance wire and it is kept here and it is closed okay so here we can see On, in the linear scale only the zero line is there so the linear scale reading is zero and the circular scale reading we can see this is zero this is 10 this is 20 this is 30 and this 30 line is actually coinciding with the linear scale line okay so the linear scale reading is zero and the circular scale reading is 30 so the linear scale reading is 0 and the circular scale reading is 30 so the diameter is linear scale reading plus circular scale reading into the list count so the the diameter is 0.3 now we have to calculate the error then we will get the correcting diameter okay the correct diameter we will get this is our diameter and we have to minus the error from the measured value okay we are um, subtracting the error so we have put in a minus sign here and the minus sign which is inside the bracket this is due to the negative zero error okay if the error is positive then the sign will be positive but this negative sign will also there because uh, any error uh, which can be positive or negative that should be subtracted from the actual measured value okay uh, but this minus sign will be plus for positive zero error so finally we are getting the corrected diameter that is 0.36 mm this is our diameter we have to put the value of the diameter here and we have to measure the length using length of the uh, meter uh, resistance wire the length of this resistance wire using a meter scale then we will get the length and we have already calculated the value of the resistance then after calculating this we will get the value of resistivity which is our aim the another name of the resistivity is specific resistance so in the question it can be mentioned either specific resistance or resistivity the unit of the resistivity is ohm centimeter i hope you can understand this if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thank you everyone for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel